Hi, dear doers, and welcome to this point of sale tutorial. Running a store is not always all fun in sales, and some days we might have to return a product to an unhappy customer, for example. Hi there, I'm Loredana, and I'll be the one asking crucial questions. As a matter of fact, why would a customer even need a refund? Well, Loredana, that's a very good question. Sometimes a product can have a manufacturing problem, or the customer just changed their mind. They don't want it anymore. They bought too many products and so on. There are many reasons why a customer might want to return their purchase. And luckily, Udo allows us to deal with any type of it. No matter what the return policy is, we can suggest our customer to exchange or replace the product, for example. Uh, we can refund them. Uh, we could offer them to put the amount on, their, uh, on a gift card. And lastly, we could propose to credit this amount into their uh, customer account. This account gathers all the customer pending payments and concretely, it allows them to get the products without paying for them directly. That is very, very useful for companies, for instance, that can get all the products they need and they only pay later on with an invoice or when they come to the store. Having these possibilities and a clear return policy really helps us build loyalty and trust with our clients. Believe me, I know that. They know that they can count on us and they, we always offer them a quality service. Even after a purchase, this video will show you how to click quickly return the product and make a refund using Udo's point of sale solution. Without further ado, let's get into it. Good morning. Hi, welcome back. How are yeah, you? Yeah, I'm fine, but I'm going to return this bone. I must have to receive somewhere. My oh. dog tasted it, but she really didn't like it. So yeah, I must, yeah, I must have it. Don't worry. Uh, I can find the order here without really? the receipt, even though I, ca I could use. When you want to do a, rece a refund in uh, Odoo POS, it's really easy. You can simply click on this button here and it will drag you to all the orders that you had in your POS on the previous sessions. There is three main uh, types of search that you can do to find the order. The first one is per, per date, the second one is per the reference on the ticket, and the third one is by customer. Such uh, our client here, we remember it's Lohedana, her name, and right. we will select the customer. We will see all the orders that we, she has here with us, and I will select the last one because it's the last one she did here with us. So when you click it, it will show the whole amount of the order, but she's only returning one item. You can see that the refund button here is black because there's nothing selected yet, and if you click, nothing is really going to happen. But if you select what she's returning, which is the dog bones, and you set the quantity that she's bringing back, one unit, you see that the button becomes green and you can click it. Once you click, you will be uh, dragged back to your initial page and you can do everything to return the product from here. How would you like to receive your, your compensation? Well, I'd like to have it on a gift card, please. Gift card is a very good option. It's very good that in Udo we can provide our clients with a gift card because they don't need to spend themselves. They can actually give it to other person to use it. And to do this, you will go to this button here, gift card, and you will generate a barcode for the, for the gift card and add the amount. In this case, 99 cents. And you will confirm. Once you do this, a line with the gift card will appear in the order and you can just give the card to our client. Thank you. But when I'm thinking about it, maybe 99 cents, it's weird on the gift card. So can I have just cash, please? Of course, a return of a return. And we can remove this very easily from our POS and we just need to click on the delete twice. The first one will remove the quantities and the second one will remove the line itself. And now we can select the payment method because she wants cash and we can select it. We click on cash and once we validate, it will open the cashier and it will print the receipt for her in no time. Voila. So we will give her back the 99 cents that she owes. Thank you. And your receipt. Thank you. No problem. Have, Have a, a nice good day. day. Bye. Bye. So we arrived at the end of our day and it's time to close our session. To do that, you simply go to the top right button which says close and you will have a difference on your cashier, meaning that you sold things during the day and you have to count what are the bills that you have inside. 
If you click on this button right here, you will see the exact bills that you have and you can set them there. Because when you start your next, next, next session, as, as we said before, this amount will be showing in your POS. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if I don't see you, I hope you see me. <laughs>